Yo, what's going on guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today. And today, the Denver Broncos are releasing Randy Gregory, who signed a five-year, $70 million contract, which is $14 million a year, in the 2000 and 2022 free agency. Uh, in his two seasons with the Denver Broncos, has only played 10 games. Has played all four games to start the season and has started in three of them. But in 2022, he only played six games with three starts and has not been that great in his, you know, in his 10 games as a Denver Bronco. And his, you know, he could have played, um, you know, 2000, the, he missed 11 games in 2022, has not missed any games in 2000. He, he you know, he's, he's, he's been, he could have played 21 games in his time so far with the Broncos, and he's only played 10. Um, injuries and also Denver being a little bit bad last year kept him out of 11 games and uh, we're, the reports are so far that the Broncos one of the reasons why they're releasing him is they want to go to their young players they want to trust their young players at the linebacker position which makes sense uh, let's go over his stats in his two years in Denver we'll go over a couple of years uh, of his stats with the Dallas Cowboys which got him his big contract in his big payday with the Den with the Denver uh, Broncos, let's go over it. So so far, he's played all four games with three starts to start the season. He has one. He has he has one forced fumble, uh, or no one. He has one pass defended for one sack and nine tackles with two tackles for loss. 2022 with the Broncos, he played six games with three starts, uh, zero interceptions, two forced fumbles, and he had two sacks with 12 tackles and two tackles for loss. 2021, the year before he got uh, his big payday with the Broncos. 2021 with the Cowboys, 12 games, 11 starts, one interception, returned that interception for 12 yards, one pass, is, one pass defended, three forced fumbles, one fumble recovery, six sacks, 19 tackles, four tackles for loss. Uh, with the Cowboys, he did have a you know another couple good years. 2020 played 10 games, zero starts, had one uh, he had a total of three forced fumbles that year with one pass defended, and he had uh, three and a half sacks that year with 21 tackles and four, uh, four tackles for loss. 2018 did not play the 2019 season due to injury, uh, but 2018 was a very solid year. This last year I'll go over probably one of his best years in the NFL besides the 2021 season with the Cowboys. 2018, 14 games and one start with two forced fumbles, one fumble recovery, which he returned that for two yards, six sacks, 25 tackles, and seven tackles for loss. That's the most tackles for loss he's ever had in a season. Uh, that's the most sacks he's ever had in a season. So uh, that's probably one of the best years he's ever had in his career was 2018 with Dallas. He, he started his career in 2015 with Dallas and was with Dallas all the way uh, until 2021. But the thing is, is he's missed a lot of time in the NFL. He missed the 2017 and the 2019 season with the uh, with the Dallas Cowboys. So uh, he was with Dallas for, you know, he played with Dallas for a total of five seasons, but was with them for seven. So he missed the 2019 and the 2017 season, missed a good portion of the 2022 season, missing 11 games. So he's been in the NFL for a total of, he's, well, he's played a total of, um, he's played a total of six or six in, a, in his seventh season now, uh, but if he was healthy, fully healthy, this would be his tenth season, his ninth or tenth season in the NFL. So he missed a you know a great portion of last year's season, missing more than ten games, missing eleven games last year for the Broncos. And not only that, but he also missed uh, he also missed 2017 and 2019 with the Cowboys. So um, you guys remember your thoughts on. Uh, the roster move for the Denver Broncos. I don't think this is that bad of a move. If he was good, if he, if he did good things in, in Denver, which he really hasn't in his 10 games played there, I would say keep him, but he really hasn't. And if they have some some nice young talent at that linebacker position, there's no need to keep him uh, in Denver. Using the, your thoughts on the roster move for the Denver, for the Denver Broncos, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace out.